Running a Montana ranch is a dream for many people, but it's also a dream that comes with a lot of responsibility. I go on special assignment tonight to meet a Missoula couple who are discovering a shared stewardship and appreciation of the land is not only feasible, but affordable. Welcome to the Oxbow Cattle Company, where Bart and Wendy Morris have assembled a spread covering hundreds of acres right on Missoula's urban border. It's a dream come true for the couple. We're raising wholesome grass-fed beef and other products sold through a small and efficient direct-to-market store on their ranch at Lower Miller Creek. All the animals that are produced here um, go directly to the city of Missoula. All our beef does. We, we direct market it all here. It's all, all natural grass finished, um, locally raised as it gets. Bart and Wendy take the responsibility of running the ranch seriously, a 24-7 venture based on hard work and an appreciation of their blessings. Well, our belief system here with this chunk of land is that um, our priorities is number one, we take care of the land. Number two, we take care of the animals. And if we believe we do it in that order, it'll take care of the rest, our community, the people that eat our beef. And so for us to take care of the land at the level we want to, it's an, it's an expensive endeavor. But there's more going on here at the Oxbow than raising great beef and bringing it to market. That sense of stewardship and responsibility is also leading to a brand new project this fall. That's because the Oxbow Ranch is bisected by Miller Creek, one of the last tributaries on the Bitterroot River, a stream that fluctuates from flood to bone dry. And Miller Creek has been traditionally used pretty heavily by agriculture, and then it's got big impacts from uh, large numbers of deer and elk, and um, it's just, it's, it's kind of in a bad way habitat-wise. We want to reclaim it, regenerate it. It provides forage and cover for um, deer and elk, as well as our livestock. It just makes it a healthier system. Miller Creek is like a lot of streams in the Bitterroot. Um, it holds important fish like West Slope cutthroat trout, um, but it's also too warm and it has too much sediment. This fall, Bart and Wendy teamed with the Bitterroot Water Forum, who sent volunteers out to plant and water more than 400 trees, protected by new fencing along this lower stretch of the creek. We generally tend to partner with streamside landowners um, to do projects that improve water quality. And when you find landowners like Bart and Wendy who want to do everything right by their stream and by their land, uh, it makes a really exciting project. We want to regenerate it, improve it, all of those type of things, but as two people by yourself, that seems like a daunting task. You're able to reach those goals, improve things way quicker than if you were to do it just ourselves. Barber says it's this conservation team approach that's working best in the Bitterroot and across Montana, where landowners, farmers, and ranchers are sharing their appreciation and objectives. People who have a vision, a dream, who want to see these streams repaired, restored, uh, they can look at it and say, this should be different. I want this to be everything it should. Um, and then they call the water forum and we try to help make it happen. Montana Department of Environmental Quality, Montana Watershed Coordination Council, the West Slope Chapter of Cloud Trout Unlimited and Bitterroot Chapter of Trout Unlimited all helped out in funding that project.